A GHD uh, 4.2B, uh, the problem with it is uh, there is no uh, heat from it, it doesn't switch on. The light here does not come on or it doesn't make any beeping noise. Um, it's plugged in there at the moment and uh, as you can see, nothing. I'm just going to plug it out and uh, I'm going to have to take off these end caps. There's an end cap each side. And then we got to remove this uh, Phillips screw from uh, the hinge. Get it uh, Phillips each side. If it's too tight, you can mount one of the Phillips in a in a vice. Screw out, there's a washer as well. You just push the uh, oh, I should go through. Yeah, now this should part. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, these two screws off this cover. The problem I find with these normally is, and I'm going to just double check it, is this uh, resistor. Let's see, can I get that in the shot? This resistor here, R8, I think. Just going to measure it now. And it's reading open circuit and um, that should be a uh, hundred ohms just going to remove it from the uh, board now him out, clean up the solder. I'm going to see can I find a 100 ohm resistor and put it there in its place. That's the resistor in. And I'm just going to check that uh, value now, give you a reading with that uh, uh, resistor in circuit. And the meter is reading about 98, 99 ohms across that resistor. Let's just put the lead into it. I 
and see what happens. And there we are, it's up and running. Uh, I'm just going to get my temperature gauge now and see what our hot plates are uh, running at. Try and get that into shot. Should keep climbing out. Okay, check the other one. Too hard to get in contact with the ceramic plate. But they are heating up. I also find sometimes uh, when that resistor is gone, that this lead is be faulty as well. So I'm just going to give that a little shake as well. But I've checked that already before I put in the uh, resistor, and uh, I found no open circuits in it. That's why this uh, collar is off. What I'm going to do now is plug it out and uh, start reassembling it and, and give it time to cool down. We're going to start by uh, putting this uh, cable back into its uh, slots uh, There's on the uh, housing. There's two slots, one to retain the cable and the other then that holds this um, PCB. And you just got to slip them into each slot. And then likewise, we have uh, the same thing on don't know if that's getting it or not we have two slots on that as well that the PCB and the cable slot uh, slot into as well okay put two screws in Bring back in. And of course, we have to put our house in. Let me find it. Okay, now. Two screws that hold that in as well. Now we've got to get our hinge assembly back together again. Make sure you're picking that up. That's all the way through. Get your screwdriver. And 
I need a second screwdriver to hold it. And then we have our covers. And there's one short side and one long side. Don't know if you're picking it up or not. Long side goes into the deepest slot. And the same here. It's warming up now and what I'll do is I'll leave that running for uh, about an hour make sure uh, all is okay that there's no other problems with it um, it suffers with very little really uh, that resistor those um, um, heating elements go as well um, and this cable the cable itself actually goes around here at this particular point the, all them parts are available from a company in the UK. Um, yeah, all you've got to do is uh, search for GHD spares, or Google it, and you'll find them no problem. Um, hope that's of uh, some help out there for somebody out there. Uh, thanks for watching.